everybody. Welcome. It's Debbie. You're at your home, your happy place. Yeah, it really is me. <laughs> so you guys, if you saw me from the very beginning, oh my gosh, let me just say, if you saw me since I was 17, sometimes you wouldn't, I don't even know who that person is in, in the camera, in the pictures, because I changed my hair so much. So I was scrolling. This is morning, like it's seven in the morning. It's dark because it's sun's really not up yet. But so it was not last night, but the night before I was scrolling through Instagram in the middle of the night when I woke up and couldn't sleep. And I ran across somebody in my feed that I just fell in love with her hair. And um, she's a 50 plus and cute as a button. And I will, I don't, I, I don't know her uh, handle, but I will put it here when I, in case somebody wants to follow her. But her hair, <laughs> that's the thing that got me. Plus, um, it was the cut. I really wasn't looking at the color. And it was my day to go see my uh, hairstylist. But um, so, he's like, oh, yeah, 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 we can do that. So, um he right away also thought I wanted the color and I'm not sure I want that color, but right now this is way too dark for me, like all over. I like, I think I like it a little more um, choppy looking as far as color goes, but we'll see. I'm on a journey to get to this, you know, hairdo. The hairdo also has extensions in it. And usually when you think of extensions, you think that you're making your hair longer, but it was just to add more fullness to, you know, the hair. Um, and so I don't know. Anyway, I'm just letting you know that this is not the end. And that, you know, three months from now, I may be totally blonde. A long story about that. So just, just know it's just going to change. All right. And if I don't like it, I'll let it grow out. I just don't care. I'm very flexible about trying things. And hey, I got scissors here. So what are we doing? I told you we were going to do some unboxing. Okay. I just had to do this. I don't often do a lot of unboxing, but you have to see this. What could I put next to it? A chair, maybe, so you get the idea of how big this is, because it's not. Okay, I don't know how two 27-inch tall lamps with the shade are in this box. It's a little disconcerting. <laughs> They looked so gorgeous online. I was so excited until I got the box. I hope I'm not disappointed. Let's unbox. I don't know where this video is actually gonna pop itself in, but um, I'll probably be in clothes that you've seen already or different clothes for the rest of the video, I don't know. But I wanted to open up the lamps because I may need new ones and I wanna get on this before I can't return them. So let's see what this is. So I, there's what it says. And I know, it just even knowing that I probably have to put everything together and according to this, the shades have to be rolled. I've never seen anything like this. It's great packaging, don't get me wrong. If it's something I want, but I'm so afraid that it's not. And I don't wanna be disappointed. I don't, nobody does, right? I was so excited. I have to be careful because in case I have to return these, I want the box. Yeah. Okay, push it out. There we go. It had good reviews. Come to think of it, maybe I just looked at, I need scissors. Maybe I just looked at the star rating and didn't read the reviews. I usually do, but I just kind of don't remember now. I feel like I did. Okay, well, that's pretty. Oh, that's the shade. Okay, <laughs> that's the shade. It's beautiful. I'm not going to open it till I see the rest of this lamp. Two lamps. Two lamps in one.
telling you guys. I And they're 27 inches tall. It just seems like they're not big enough to be that. Because the whole point of me buying these lamps was the ones I have were too small. They don't seem like they're going to be any bigger. They are pretty. Wow. Okay. Well, here you can see it. I just honestly think they're about the size of what I have. Let's see. You'd have to put this on. Then you put that on. Then you put this on. Okay, well, all right. Well, maybe they will be. Here's what. It was two lamps for $99. I am going to go ahead and put them together, even if I have to disassemble them to take them back. I think they're pretty. Um, I guess they're, they're plastic, but they really look nice. They looked more like um, white on line versus, oh, I can't get the cord, just a minute. It's just, this assembly seems like it's gonna be over my head, you guys. I mean, I've got to put a lampshade together. And maybe this is what I do it with, I don't know. No, maybe that's that thing, I have no idea. I have no idea, but there's parts behind here still. Okay, I'm still unwrapping. Interesting. Okay, this and the ring, rings, were behind all the lamps, as well as a cord. So, I'm going to hold it up for you. Again, so you can see it. It really is a pretty style. It's more of a frosted, and it's, they say it's acrylic, so it's not glass. But this is metal, and there was another perk to it. Um, it has two USB chargers in it. So I'm going to put this, um, hopefully, in our bedroom, if it's tall enough. And uh, I just like that. I mean, the tables that we have, the side tables, do have chargers in them, but... I don't know. I just, it's just nice to have that technology available. So I'm going to put these together. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have you watch me or not. Screw it on. So that part's easy. I'll have to read the directions for the rest of it, I think. Um, are we going to get to a spot? Okay. Take that out. Let me look at these directions. All right, let's see. Shade, stick the shade body together, place the upper frame into the U buttons, place the lower frame into the U buttons. That's it. This is not a lot of directions. I don't want to know what a U button is, but I guess I'll figure it out. Okay, they're packaged um, two at a time, so I guess that's the top and a bottom. This is so crazy. I've never, I just can't imagine. I need my scissors. Where's my scissors? I just can't imagine this. Okay, I see little U buttons now. There's little metal things there. So, just unroll it. This is crazy. I'll show you. Well, I'll show you on the. Once I get a couple more on and I can maneuver this a little better, I'll show you what I'm doing. It's actually very simple. So there's those little buttons and hooks, and I'm just, I'm just snapping the. Here, I'll try to do one for you, so you can see it. See that? It's hard for me to do it without 
There, snap. And last one. Be easier if I was, well, I don't know if it would or not. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the uh, bottom on it or the top, I don't know which it is. There is, oh my gosh, it's all okay. So there's Velcro here. I didn't see it, a Velcro, Velcro strip. So I'm gonna piece that, the top and at the bottom. And then I will, okay, why am I, not, there we go. And then I'll just push it in the center. That's interesting. Something's not right though. Could I have this upside down? Because that's too big. It's too big. Or were the two of the same? Maybe that's what I got going on. Oh uh, yeah. So I've got two, I've got two tops <laughs> or two bottoms, but I think two tops. All right. I'm gonna take this one off. I told you it was over my head. My goodness, that is so pretty. Look at that. Okay, I got it. Looks good. Now I need that, um, what do you call that thing? I know there's a name for it. <clears throat> Cute finial. Okay, how it affects the lamp. A lot of times, I think I, if I had a, a wrench or something, I might be able to do something about that. But I will just not put it down completely tight so it's crooked or else maybe that'll straighten it out. I don't know. Oh, it did. Awesome. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to back up. Well, let, let's, let's see what's in here. Oh, is this a light bulb? Surely they didn't send me a light bulb. Yeah, they did. <laughs> oh, it's an LED. Okay. That's great. All right, guess what? You're not gonna get to see it lit up. I don't know, <laughs> I have to go back online and read it because there are no other instructions that I see here. There's no on and off switch. What I do recall, it said that it was a touch base. So um, maybe it has to charge from being plugged in. So I'm going to leave it plugged in and You'll see when I do our master bedroom for fall, if this worked out or not, and then you'll see it lit up. So anyway, um, okay, I'll just say I am pleasantly surprised. This does look like the picture. Um, it's not what I imagined uh, coming in. Uh, I really thought this was like glass or ceramic, but that's my fault for not reading it. This is a very nice shade. Um, and you couldn't tell that I just took it and unrolled it and put it here. So I like it. What do you guys think? Getting ready for Christmas. I've been telling you guys since probably last spring that I was going to go, uh, I felt like I wanted a vintage style and I don't know if I'll be able to pull that off because I'm not buying all new stuff. But I wanted um, dark green and pink, which, you know, if you've looked at my wallpaper and my butler's pantry or my dining room, you know that's, that's my favorite colors. So I knew last year that um, 
At Walmart, I was able to find some dark green velvet with gold trim. And I went to Walmart this year, not went there, but went online because they don't have their Christmas stuff out yet. And um, it was like, I don't know, $45 for a roll of uh, ribbon. And I'm like, that's crazy. So I just specifically Googled or, you know, searched, not Googled, because I was on Amazon, for um, velvet ribbon with gold trim. And I found two sizes and I bought, I think I bought two of each, but I don't know for sure. So this is it. It's got a beautiful um, sheen to it. It's got that. And honestly, you could use both sides. And, or, you know, it'll be gorgeous if you're twisting it because you'll have that. And of course, you, as you can tell, it's got wire in it. So I don't recall what the price was, but I will link it. And then this is exactly like it, only in a much wider, I think this is a four inch. So, okay, that's something I got. Now I have a box of something else here that I have no idea what is in it. So I'm gonna clear up a space and we'll open that box. This one is so light. I mean, so light, I have no idea what's in it. All right. Okay, I think that should do it. Oh, okay. Wow, I forgot all about it. Yep, I forgot all about it. It's actually longer than two weeks. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. <sighs> so you know how I loved decorating, well, one room you haven't seen yet. Um, so I was decorating for those guys, trying to refresh some of my guest bedrooms to um, just not be so summer. Although, you know, some of you are like, well, that's a very tropical <laughs> room, and it is. It's just that the tropical went into um, a peachy and, da and dark green um, color. So to me, I updated it from just pure old aqua. Um, so I also did that in the butterfly room in our lower level. And I believe I bought this pillow for that room. It doesn't matter, one or the other, because they both are, um, they both have a Tommy Bahama bedspread on them. And uh, this, I know it's backwards, but it's the Tommy Bahama Relax Pillow with their logo, established 1993. I didn't know Tommy Bahama was that new. Did you guys? I don't know, for some reason I thought he was a, you know, his, his brand was around for a long, long time or whatever. You never know. Is there really a Tommy? So I'm going to link it below if anybody's, I mean, you may be going, I don't need that till next time. Okay, this one's a little heavier. Um, I think I know one of the things in it. And maybe that's all that's in it. Okay. I have something else around here. talk about this in another box because this came <laughs> this came with a different I guess sometimes if you order more than one thing they get it from two different sellers so anyway it's ribbon this on the other hand I'm excited so here it is um, there's a picture of it being used so these are, uh, they say they're outdoor battery table lamps. Now, and that's kind of cool. I mean, the idea that you could buy a lamp like this with no cord and have it outdoors, I didn't buy it for that though. I did buy it for, um, well, I thought about it using it on a mantle, which I may try um, because my mantles are so tiny and there's two lamps in here, so again, this is not a big item. Um, where else? I mean, it's like a buffet lamp style. Could, this is something that you could use in a closet on an island. You could use it um, on a bookshelf or 
um, there was something that I was really thinking about, like a bar. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it from here. Let's see what it looks like. Ugh. Wait. Okay, that is so cool. Oh my goodness, so it's a USB charger. Um, it said battery, but I guess it's a battery that's charged by you plugging it in like your phone would be. Um, oh, there's a dimming function. Make sure the light is on and then tap the touch button and hold for the light to increase the brightness. I went ahead and unboxed without showing, and um, so I'm going to show this piece first. Um, if it looks familiar, it is um, Ballard's, and it is identical to the one that I have in the in my Ralph Lauren room. I've been I had that one. That one was not new. I'd been wanting this green one for a very long time. And um, then over the summer, I ended up moving that whole blue and white set downstairs and I love it there. I don't want to change it. Um, so yeah, I'm taking this color up here. You know, I like to do a quilt. I, first of all, I like to do, sometimes I'll reverse things. Like I'll put um, a solid and then I'll fold this up at the end. And it's and then you to get a whole another look for your room, you reverse it and you make your whole bed spread the print and you fold at the end of the bed the solid. So I don't know what I'm going to do be doing right now because I haven't seen this, but I looked all around for a solid. And this green, I mean they called it sage. So I haven't looked at this. But I ended up buying one of their quilts. I did look on Amazon. I looked at Belk. I looked at Kohl's. I looked at um, Macy's. I mean, I looked everywhere to see if I could find a, a solid color that would go with this. And it's just scary when you know you're at when you're at the same store. Those colors, if they say this is sage, then it should go with the sage print. And that's really what I ended up doing. Okay, I'm opening. Velvet. Okay, so here's how it came packaged. It's called Nadine Velvet Quilt. So I'm going to take it out and see how it goes with this print. Well, I don't think it goes as well as I expected it to, but I think it'll be good. Let's see. To me, it's a much duller green. Well, I think it's very clear on camera that it's a much duller green. So the idea that they called this sage and this sage... I'm, I'm not thrilled with. And if I put it on the bed and I don't like it, I will send it back. Cause Thanks for joining me today. I hope it was fun for you. It kind of was like a mini haul. It was just the unknown for me. Um, and so I thought I'd share that time with you. I'd appreciate it if you give me a like. I love it if you comment. If you can share, share. Um, my links for anything that I've shown in here will be below in the description. And um, you can always check out my Amazon storefront. And that link is also there. It's amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash your home, your happy place. And don't forget Amazon, uh, like I guess it's being called Prime Days, but October 10 and 11. And uh, I'll see you next time. You guys take care.